In this video we will go over the Splashtop Enterprise capabilities that improve the workflow for service desk and help desk teams and result in faster and smoother support experiences for the technicians as well as end users. You can access the service desk console from your my.splashtop console or even your Splashtop business app. Within the console, you see the technician groups or channels on the left and the technicians queue with the support sessions here. Technicians can be organized in group to handle different channels. Let's create one. For example, all support requests from the graphics design department that uses Mac workstations exclusively can be routed to a dedicated channel, and that channel can be assigned to a technician group made up of Mac experts. I'm going to set the session expiry to 30 minutes and also enable SOS call which I will get to in just a bit. I will assign the Mac experts group here. You can set roles, permissions, and granular controls so that technicians can be granted the minimum privileges needed to accomplish their tasks. Each technician or technician group's privileges related to session management can be granularly defined. The connection process in Enterprise is also faster and smoother. The technician starts a new session, enters the customer name, and simply copies this support link and sends it to the end user. There is no longer the need for the end user to pass the session code back to the technician, as in the traditional SOS workflow. Notice the session status in the support queue says waiting at this point. The end user then follows the link to download and run the small SOS app. When that is done, the technician will see the active status in the support queue and can see additional device information such as OS version and IP address, even before connecting in. I click on Start Remote Session which prompts the end user to grant permission to remote in. Notice that when the end user granted permission, the icon here changed telling me that I can now remote in and take control. I'm now remote into this computer and have access to the toolbar with many handy features. I disconnect and end the session. If the end user fails to follow the support link in time, the session expires. If a troubleshooting session goes beyond the initial technician's expertise, the technician can easily transfer the support session to another technician. He she can also invite other technicians to collaborate on the support request. Streamlined routing of support sessions and the ability to have multiple techs on the support call accelerates the resolution time. Once the issue is resolved, the technician can close the session. Another very useful feature in the service desk is SOS Call. Users needing assistance can request for a support session via the SOS Call application. If you noticed, when we created a channel, there was a checkbox to enable this feature for the channel. Click here to set it up and manage. I'm going to create a new SOS Call app. I can either assign a particular technician or choose to leave it in the queue for any tech to pick up. This link is now reusable and dedicated to a group of end users who will be supported by this channel. It can be deployed on their desktops. Now, as the end user, when I need help, I click on the SOS Call app and submit my request. Now as you can see the request has appeared in the technician queue and you can see it's come through SOS Call. I can then pick up the support request and then connection process continues as we saw before. As you can imagine, with these service desk capabilities, IT support teams can increase efficiency and deliver faster resolution and a better support experience. 